Stage two locks load complete. Falcon to be proper load is complete. Falcon Heavy is on internal power. Vehicles in self line. Ground gas close as it started. Falcon Heavy gas loads are complete. Yeah, as I've just said in uh, text chat, and as they just said in the video there, in maximum, the fuel bleed period, bleed. maximum dynamic pressure of the vehicles are sent through the atmosphere. And it's the point at which the vehicle is at the most risk of loss as it ascends through the atmosphere. And when the engine shell is complete. EFTS is ready for launch. All of the engines will be throttled back to reduce the amount of vibration and dynamic pressure. Falcon Heavy is installed. Once it's cleared max Q, uh, then it will be all go, will be folded up, it will be into a slightly thinner layer of the flight. atmosphere and the engines will be folded up ready for ascent to orbit and the detachment of the two outer boosters. T minus 30 seconds. Launch direct around countdown one. SpaceX Falcon Heavy, go for launch. Falcon Heavy is configured for flight. E minus 15, stand by for terminal count. Oh man. 10, 9, 8, Side boost ignition. 6, 5, 4, Oscar, it 3, should be round of applause. Whoa! Cleared the launch pad! Keep going. T-Plus 30 seconds, if you can hear me over the cheering. Falcon Heavy heading to space on our test flight. Building on the history of Saturn V Apollo, returning pad 39A to interplanetary mission. We're getting ready to throttle down to a max Q. You've heard the call out. Vehicle is supersonic. Side boosters are now throttling back up to full Vehicle power. Has We're past max Q, the period of maximum loads on the vehicle. Next up, we'll be waiting That's for it. the side boosters to begin to throttle down prior to booster engine cutoff and separation two and a half minutes into flight. GNC trajectory looks good on the Falcon Heavy. Reports show that the M1D engine performance is nominal. Side boosters have begun to throttle down in preparation for the upcoming shutdown in 20 seconds. Major event coming up with side booster shutdown and separation. Shutdown. Side boosters. Shutdown. Sirs 
successful separation. We're coming up on Miko in shutdown. Coming up on bearing separation. Central core, the side engines. On fire, also look good. Glowing. Successful lift off from the pad, successful stage separation, but before that successful booster separation, you can see stage one. Uh, the two side boosters, pardon me, you can see the center core and you can see MVAC lit up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Then the beautiful shots of uh, Starman chilling in the Tesla Roadster. Uh, <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Um, on, on your screen at the moment, uh, you've got a few things happening. On the upper right, you've got MVAC D continuing its burn. Uh, on the upper left, you have the center core headed back towards the autonomous spaceport drone ship. And in the two bottom screens, you've got the side boosters headed back towards Cape Canaveral Air Force Station landing zones one and two. Uh, the next step coming up for the side boosters and the center booster uh, is the re-entry burn. Uh, that's going to slow it down from, uh, or slow all the boosters down from way faster than the speed of sound to just faster than the speed of sound uh, in order to reduce some of those aerodynamic forces and heating that occurs when you're moving that quickly through the atmosphere. And as you can see on your screen, that re-entry burn for those two side boosters has begun. The side boosters entry burn is shut down. Side core entry burn turn. The center core in the upper left of your screen performing its own re-entry burn. You can see the, the edge of Cape Canaveral in uh, both of the side booster cameras as those are coming in. Yes, and PY and NY side boosters have saved. Center core entry burn shut down. Uh, and even though those look very similar, those two boosters uh, views, those are actually representing different boosters. Um, and they're heading towards Earth. They're about to begin their landing burns. We'll hopefully be able to bring you nice footage of that. Both side boosters transonic. And watch for the landing lights to play at the tail end of that way. And that landing burn has started. Both boosters looking to be on track towards their respective landing zones. Both boosters landing lights have started. Side boosters landing lights have deployed. 
signal. Uh, we're hoping that signal comes back shortly. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, the, as Michael mentioned earlier with the vibrations of the rocket and how it shakes up the cameras that are on the drone ship, sometimes we do lose signal or shakes up the antennas. Oh, and we, we've just gotten confirmation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're yeah, waiting that. to hear what happens, and so we're listening in, and, and we're still waiting to hear. Uh, we'll let you know as soon as we find out. You'll know. People are cheering, <laughs> but uh, we'll get the call and, and know hopefully very, very soon how that center core is doing, whether it's standing up proud on that drone ship or not. Um, um, well, meanwhile, the other the, two oh, those, those, were, those were absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. Um, meanwhile, the, the second stage is continuing its trajectory uh, towards Mars. Um, it's all, it's all looking good there. John Ike, uh, come give us a recap of the, the full mission. <laughs> he stands. <laughs> oh, well, if you could hear all that cheering, it was an outstanding test flight of the Falcon Heavy. Uh. <laughs> Camera cycling right now. Live views coming down from low Earth orbit. The second stage successfully got there, and it got there as the culmination of a great Falcon Heavy test flight. We lit 27 engines, throttled the boosters up and down, we separated the side boosters. They came back spectacular, simultaneous landing. The center core did its job, the second stage did it. Everything that you could want in a test flight, we got here. Now we're just looking for the icing on the cape to find out what happened on the drone show. But all in all, yeah. an outstanding test flight for Falcon Heavy. Yeah, wow, what an absolutely momentous occasion. Uh, thank you so much to the range uh, for contributing uh, their expertise to today's launch, the FAA for the licenses to launch and land those boosters, um, as well as the rest of Falcon Heavy. And thank you to you, the viewers, uh, for joining us for, for a really, really cool moment here. <laughs> and to find out what happened with the center core and what's going on with Starman as he makes its journey through space, and all of our other launches, you can visit us at SpaceX.com and follow us on social media, on LinkedIn and Twitter. If you would like to join us on exciting projects like these, please visit SpaceX.com slash careers. <laughs> From the entire grateful team here, thank you again for joining us. We'll see you next time. Just waiting on confirmation.